Tanya, tell us what's happening in your neck of the woods. How are the London hotels doing? Hi, Jason. Um, so in the UK at the moment, we are coming out of um, lockdown. Uh, we're in the first phase at the moment. Um, so that means we're allowed to go out and exercise more often. Um, hopefully next week um, that will be relaxed a little bit more. So things like open markets and a few shops will start to reopen and certain schools will reopen for some age categories. Um, but what we're really, really looking forward to is phase three, which is happening, hopefully, fingers crossed, starting from the 4th of July. And that's when hospitality will start to reopen. So hotels, restaurants from the 4th of July in the UK. So everybody at the moment is preparing for that. Um, unfortunately, in Ireland, it's slightly later. Um, so that's going to be from the 21st of July. But again, preparations are being made to open the doors again. By preparations, are hotels, are they starting to bring furloughed staff back? Um, what are they doing? Yeah, so what we've seen this week, um, so we had the bank holiday uh, yesterday. From today, people have started to come back off a of furlough. So that would be the key strategic teams, um, such as revenue, marketing, sales. And they're really now preparing for the reopening for six or seven weeks' time. Um, they are still on a shorter week, um, some of them. So they may be working three or four days at the moment, but they are starting to bring people back, which is really positive news. Yeah. Other things that they're preparing for is um, what is their strategy moving forward? Uh, looking at if they're a, a destination hotel, how can they really try and make the most out of staycation um, for people in the UK now? that maybe not be able to travel abroad for their summer holiday this year. Right. So how, how are the hoteliers that you're talking to? I mean, are they comfortable? Um, you know, I'm in Texas and Texas started to open up about a week ago. We had a client open up at the beach over the weekend after being closed for 60 days, we went down. I was pretty comfortable. The staff was excited to see us. Um, a little, a little nervous because they were all trying to get back in the groove of things. Um, but they were ready to be open. I mean, I went to the gym yesterday. I was much less comfortable at the gym than I was the hotel over the weekend. Yeah. So how, I how, think how do you think the hoteliers are doing there? The hoteliers are ready. You know, they have been putting measures in place and they've been looking at this and analyzing this for a good, you know, eight, nine weeks now. So they know what they have to do. They know what cleanliness standards have to be in place. They know that they have to adhere to the, the social distancing measures. For us, it's really key for, for the general public to want to travel again. I think there is some fear there, um, but that's really up to the hotels to communicate well with their guests or potential guests so that they feel comfortable in traveling. But the hotels are ready, yeah, and we want them to reopen. Do you see the right communication going on? Emails? Did the website say what they need to be saying? Sometimes, um, but unfortunately, not often enough. Um, we, you see it all the time where hotels don't update their websites. Some of them, you know, they don't know how to. And if they have furloughed their team members that, that normally look after that, I think now we will start seeing the change. But the hotels that are on top of this will benefit the most because people can only look online at the moment. They're not ringing up, they're not talking to anybody, they're only using the website. So that really is their shop front. I mean, it's now more than ever that that's very, very important. Very good, hey, thanks for joining me. You're very much welcome, speak to you soon.